with loves. You look like an angel. You're so yeah. gorgeous. Oh my God. <laughs> look at you. So good to see you. Yeah. Likewise, you look so nice today. I mean, every time, but like there's something different about you. I look blurry. Oh, well. Got my haircut. <laughs> Like, yeah, I can tell. It's so nice. It suits thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's always scary going to a new person. Huh, anyway, yes. moving right along. Um, I am recording this, and it's going to go in our group. T, you're so Ooh. sorry. Hello, people. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, yes. So, yes. Yes, girl. I mean, I'm all about queer eye. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, be excited for two. These days I'm not excited about anything, so. <laughs> oh, well, I know how yeah. that feels. It really sucks. It does. Yeah, I, I know. Like a person, but, you know, that's all part of the process. Well, you know, it, it's the old uh, Super Bowl rebound theory. You know, what goes down comes back higher, and your perspective will be even better. So you stick with me, girl. We're going to get you bouncing right back, I promise. <laughs> I'm having more fun with these. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to hurt you. I mean, don't hurt yourself. Really, no, it's I just, can't save you. It's just I can't little. even call nine one one from here. <laughs> They're just little. <laughs> uh, uh, I used to uh, uh, bounce a Super Bowl as I was walking through the streets of New York City um, with a uh, like a cart behind me. I was the chef on a yacht in West Manhattan, oh. and I had and it was pretty dodgy by the docks, and uh, I had to pass what I call Rat Park because inevitably rats would come running out of the bins and stuff. Um, and there were all sorts of homeless and all, you know, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I would take a Super Bowl with me, not to interact with people, but to give me a reason to run. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so I would bounce and bounce, you know, and keep going, just keep going, right? Nobody would bother me. That's uh, so it yeah. worked, it really worked. <laughs> I'll uh, keep that in mind. It really does. It. Yes, it does. Uh, it, it, on occasion, it got away from me, and I, I can still picture this moment when the ball got away from me, and I was like, oh no, because it's not like I could just pop into a store and get another Super Bowl, right? Uh, even though I was in New York. Uh, and this man, this well dressed, looked like a football player in a suit with a briefcase, and he starts hauling ass and swoops down and picks it up right before it falls into the gutter and uh -huh. and tosses it back like a pro he must have been a ball player and i was all <laughs> thanks man <laughs> and I, off he went and off i went it was just so much fun that way so i highly <laughs> recommend it besides you know the strategy is awesome because really what we do go down and th and that is part of it sometimes is it's how oh how yeah i know about it <laughs> it's, it's yeah i'm sorry you've been going through that I mean, it's not the first time, and it won't be the last. So you know, just I need do to get know. To it. I hear you. I go through it. You know, sometimes the brightest stars have the darkest nights, and mm -hmm. um, I've been through. Yeah, it. no, I've been on that for five years. So I thought at some point it would be over. You know, like hey, and then when you think it's over, well, it's not. It well, means you just have to go deeper. You know. I do know. I really, really, really do know. It's yeah. Um, it's, I know. I'm twice your age, easily, and and have you know have been through twice as much of that shit so I really when i see how you are you know i just have so much hope <laughs> oh thank you oh, what a sweet thing to say oh, i'm good at making compliments huh? <laughs> thank you. and believe me i don't lie i don't just sugarcoat things especially these days <laughs> oh, i understand you know i told somebody yesterday sweetie that uh i i uh, i'm not a bullshitter and and uh, i i i try not to to fill to my head with too many things like to remember so inevitably i'll tell somebody the same story twice but it'll always be the same story or if i'm paying you a compliment uh and i do it again it's because it really is the truth it's so much easier just to not keep track because it's just always the freaking truth you know whatever it is uh i can't think i don't know how people are manipulative i just don't get that kind of mindset where you can it's look too down complicated even. i don't know yeah, yeah. it doesn't work with my brain it's, yeah, uh, yeah. Too much to remember yeah. No, and I, I think that's what's so great about the people that have been brought together in our group is, is that every one of us has such passion and heart and sincerity and, you know, just a genuine soul wanting to make a difference in other people's lives. It's and interesting. You see everyone in the bank code, everyone is either A-N or N-A, I think. There's, there's two sets of twins that way, and Heather is the only one who's a little different. 
Really? Um, she has NK, she has NK first. Uh, oh, but all but of us have N. <laughs> yeah, all of us have an N in the first or second. Yeah, I thought uh, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what I want to do with this assessment is to um, figure out. Hold on a second. Make it make some light. Who I am? <laughs> Please, if you figure this one out, let me uh, know. <laughs> Why could you have some help with that? <laughs> that's that's part of it, you know. Is is uh, aware, through awareness, acceptance, and action comes change. And so, what okay. we're going to do is, is uh, at the moment, this is not exactly a coaching call per se. Um, but what will happen from here is an opportunity then to realize where you're at, what we you know what we can really really look at. And then, yes. um, and I know that the next time that we do this, which will be midpoint in what we're, uh, what our group is doing, um, there's going to be some evidence of change and then we'll of do course. it again. And then I'm working on that myself, you know, in different ways because I hate being stuck like that. So I'm not, I'm really dedicated to this journey. Yes. Uh, I know you are. I, I know you are. And, uh, one of the things that's been really helpful is, uh, is doing a board, I have, I'm literally looking at it and um, I put on the top, it's all happening, you know, from, you know, Kate Hudson in Almost Famous, which is such a great little movie. And um, to put things up there about what is happening, please do that so that you visually see it. If you don't already do that, putting it in a notebook is different than you have to go look at it. I would like very much, even if you get a piece of poster board, I don't care, put post-it notes on it. I don't care. But, but, but to acknowledge at least one thing that is, is, is happening. And um, I, I know that it sucks to not know, but I don't know is the beginning of new possibilities. I mean, there's and, a lot of things that I know, which suck, unfortunately, but uh, you know, there's a lot of things that I do know. So tell not me in the, in the good way, but yeah. Yes. So tell me what it, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I want to know where, where's, where, what's the main obstacle right now for you, love? Uh, you mean professionally or in life in general? Cause that would probably, um, as it would pertain to what we're doing in the group. Okay. I mean, I guess everything is linked, right? Kind of uh, I, I guess, say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, let's focus to, to, to work and business because, uh, I mean, that's, uh, everything else will be for another time, I guess. Okay. Uh, what's, yeah, what's my, my biggest obstacle is there not knowing what it is that I want. And I, I don't know. I feel like I don't even know who I am anymore, you know? I don't know if it's, uh, it, it's so strange to feel this way. I'm not feeling anxious about it. So at least that's good because I've been in this position for a long time, I guess. And yeah. now I feel like I'm digging and I'm going deep and I know I'm getting close to, to, to something, but something that is really real. And, you know, cause I've been taking off a lot of masks and every time I thought, Oh, I'm getting there, but I was not. And now I feel like I'm at a, so, I don't know, at a crossroad of some sort. I, this is just, you know, intuitively what's coming to me. And, uh, and I know there's that, but I don't know. I don't know where I feel like, I don't know who I am. I don't know where I want to go. I, I'm just confused. Like there are things that I know, but I don't have any vision of anything anymore. It's like I have to rebuild everything. And it's great because, well, my personality likes to create new, new stuff, but it's kind of strange and scary at the same time because even if I know that everything that I've been doing in the past has a purpose and nothing has been in vain, I feel like, wow, okay, what am I going to do now? <laughs> It's just, it, yeah, I just don't know. And I'm not freaked out about not knowing because sometimes I guess not knowing, like you said, is as powerful as knowing because everything is possible. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm being clear. I You're don't. being very clear. How old are you again, Inas? 27. 27, yeah. So this is the beginning of that um, uh, Saturn return. That's, and it's. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, astrologically. Speaking of, uh, we had a look at my planets and uh, so the, where they are at the moment. And yeah. it's funny because yeah, they're coming back to it, the same position, more or less all of them, to when I was born. So it's very interesting that uh, this is happening right now. And uh, that's great, I guess. You it's know, annoying as hell. I'm going to give you an update on that. It's annoying <laughs> because what, and yet what you're going through is absolutely exactly what's going to happen in this process. Being aware of it is going to help at least to, to kind of roll better with it. 
what happens during this, and, and you would probably already know this, but I'm just going to say this for the sake of the people watching, is, is that there's a, an assessment and there's pressure. What am I going to do for the rest of my life? You know, there's, there's this intense, holy crap, what am I doing? And what happens if, if a person isn't willing to take a look at this, but you are, here's the difference, um, is that uh, either way, there are things that are getting set in motion. So, uh, Saturn return happens again in 29 and a half years. So people that are turning, you know, in their 50s, whatever, you know, me. Um, like, Ooh, you know, welcome to the club sister. <laughs> I know, dude. I know. Um, but I want to tell you, because I'm looking back now at where you are from where I was, and I'm going to say this. Even though you're, you're not sure exactly how it's all going to piece together, um, what you have set in motion because of who you are already is, is going to be, uh, it's going to work out. And I know it can't be definitive on what that means yet, but we'll get there. Uh, it, you're setting in motion authenticity. You're setting in motion a passion to help other people. You're setting in motion the, the desire to utilize all your talents. So your what is, 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 I know it doesn't seem this way, but it's pretty clear. It's the how that we want to figure out, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the how in which it manifests. Um, mm -hmm. So as uncomfortable as it is, to, and I've had this experience three times in, S, in which it felt like I didn't know how to tell you how to cross the street. Everything I knew was gone. It was wiped out. It was, it was, I was literally a heap on the ground because every single bit of knowledge I had gone. And I, that's so hard to describe, let alone relate to if you've never been through it. But that, that it felt like a freaking big, like gigantic eraser that just went, ah, you're done. Like now what? I was just like, I don't know. Who the hell am I? What am I doing? What's this about? Shit, this sucks. All I want to do is make a difference and, and, and bring something to people's lives. And I can't tell you how to cross the street right now. It literally was like being blank slated. Three times that's happened. And, and it, it, it's not necessarily comfortable. In fact, it really, really just bites. And, um, and yet, if you go through that, I want you to know that's normal. It's part of it. And, and there is another side to it. Um, and so when you have those moments where you're just like, man that's all part of it. It doesn't necessarily expedite it, but being able to accept that that's what's going on is going to help to get through it because a lot of people never accept it. And what instead what they do, honey, is they, they carry that uncertainty with them for the next 30 years. Yeah. And you're not going to do that. You're not going <laughs> to be that person. That. And I'm you're guessing, not. you know, being, I mean, if I'm awake, as we say, or if I'm conscious of everything that's going on at that age, it's for me to start whatever it is that I have to start right now, you know, it's not to just, oh, well, I know, but I feel uncomfortable and I'm just pushing. No, right now, to be honest, now, as of today, I'm taking a break because I, I don't want to feel like, I, I think I've said in the group that for the past maybe couple of weeks, some clients that I had, like every time I had a new client signing up, I had some kind of panic attacks and things like this. And I think it's not fair on them, even though nobody noticed anything. And but for me as well, you know, I was not in the right energy. So I decided to take a few weeks break to just do things that bring me joy. So you know I'm singing, doing the stand-up comedy thingy. And because I thought, you know, if I don't know what the hell I'm doing, I might as well have some fun <laughs> instead of staying at home and you know watching Netflix all day and eating pizza. <laughs> have a good time. That's absolutely the truth. That will transition things. It'll put you in the headspace to be receptive to, to the ahas that come. You're handling this beautifully. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm actually quite proud uh, because I've been in situations where, you know, I had burnouts and all and I was pushing, pushing, pushing and I used to be a control freak and all and I'm actually very surprised to, to see how I'm handling things and so that's why I'm just saying, you know, for the record, yes, I'm proud of myself <laughs> because I'm not freaking out. Of course, it's uncomfortable and some days I'm just like, <gasps> but, you know, it is how it is and I've, I know life does things in a very interesting way and I know it can't just stay like this forever and I know that I'm in you know going through some deep transformation so it's all good uncomfortable but good yes it is that that um, internal squeeze that pressure that that uh, Saturn return creates um, is, is kind of like being stuck in a traffic jam 
you know that you're on your way and you're, you will get over that um, over that bridge and it's all jammed up right now and you know the destination is there. You've just got to deal with the freaking traffic jam at the moment and it's a squeeze and, and it's, a, you know, it, it just, bah. so hand, you're handling it well. Uh, I don't want to give you any kind of forecast that it lasts for three or four years. Um, <laughs> no, and it, like, I'm not saying it won't because who knows, but I can feel inside. I've been in this path for a bit even if things seem clear at times even though they're not anymore but it's been you know constant transformation and i'm feeling at least my feeling is that i'm on the last you know when you run a marathon and it's the last bit i mean of course things will change again and again and of course otherwise it wouldn't be life mm -hmm. but at least on this cycle i can feel that things are coming to to i mean i'm gonna get give birth soon to at least something that is really me and uh and now i really see that what i thought was me was not me if that makes sense sure it does sure it so does. Yes. well now i mean you know it's like i'm feeling naked like there's nothing left to take away like you know i i just have to jump and to know where to jump which uh heal i guess or which i don't know how you said it in english but you know what i mean but uh yeah I, it's just a matter of yeah reconnecting really deeply and and just do it so i'm actually confident things will clear up pretty soon one and, of the uh, things that i made the mistake of doing that I, I hope helps you is that i would go out and i would give a talk an inspirational talk and I would come home and I would say, is that the thing that I need to be doing? Is this what I'm meant to do? Is this for the rest of my life? And then I would collapse and I would go, no, that's not it. That's not it. That's I not it. That. <laughs> that's not it. That's not it. And what I, what I, the only reason I'm sharing this with you is because if you can possibly go say, do a stand-up and and it, whether it works or not don't come home and say i'm not meant to do stand-up just let it be whatever it is in the moment for that day and make no future projections on it and then the next time you want to do it do it again and then do it again and it's a good thing to say because <laughs> i had a bit of a not this reaction i don't know if it was that exactly but i know i'm struggling sometimes with self-doubt and you know putting maybe expectations onto something and then of course it doesn't live up to it and i'm just like mm. and i know i had this little thought process when i did my first uh, stand-up session last week the first time i was just like mm, not even about me but is that really what i like to do like i don't know people were just making jokes about you know sex and all and i'm like okay i want to do something more meaningful than that but then you know so for a couple of days i was a bit like mm. and then i realized you know what i don't care it's fun right now and i know i want to make people laugh so if this format doesn't work for me i'm just gonna go through with this it's an experience i'm learning and then if i want to do it in a different way my own way I'll do it and that's it you know it's not a life or death thing you know i'm supposed to have fun i'm paying to have fun so you know yeah. i should just look at it and have fun with it and if i have to make sex jokes which apparently i'm quite good at it at good at <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of sex jokes you can do with my name but you know that's for another day awesome. anyway um <laughs> <laughs> well you, you know, know you wish to make people laugh you, eh? you know <laughs> taking the pressure out of it but i think it's totally true what you're saying because sometimes you know you try something the first time especially and you're just like oh, yeah. oh maybe i'm not good at this yeah. and i ha honestly, i had that though on the first moment even though you know i may we had to tell jokes like that and uh people were laughing at what I, whatever i was saying but i didn't feel it but it i know it's me when self-doubt counts sometimes and uh, but this time i had a conversation with my self-doubt <laughs> i just said you know what shut up <laughs> because i know you too well and i know you're doing this for my own good but you know what i i know myself you know and uh and maybe stand up it would will not be the right format but time will tell indeed indeed and if you look at any comedian's track record how long it took them to hone their craft to figure out their message and their style and and it's a it's an ongoing process and it can only be ongoing if you keep going so uh -huh. Yep, yep. So keep going. I'm really, really impressed that you did this, that you did it at all. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> amazing that you did that. Yes. Oh my yeah. God. That's so bold. <laughs> it's just incredible. 
Okay. I've been wow. wanting to do it for so long and uh, it was on my list of things to do. And like, I think I told you last time, you know, when I picture myself in, I mean, not now because now I don't see anything anymore, but when I used to picture, and it still brings the chills, you know, like me on a stage and all of that. And yeah. well, I figured if I want to be on a stage in a few years from, not a few years, but if I want to be on stage at some point, I need to start somewhere. And it starts with this opportunity that came and, you know, I stop being scared <laughs> of nothing. You know, it's just whatever happens, you know. I wonder what it would be like if, if you were to put together a group of gals in, your, in this age and this stage in your life. Um, I, I, for some reason, I just got this idea that it might actually be really useful to everyone, supportive to everyone. And in, and in essence, what you might find is that some way to find humor in this horrible, whatever, upset of, I don't know who the hell I am anymore. You know, the, yeah. the, the identity crisis is, is a genuine thing. It's not really crisis, but you know what I mean. Yeah, um, it, I feel like it is. <laughs> like, I, it does. It really it does. does. I get it. And you yeah. know, like I've been working on this for so long and I feel like I know and I don't know at the same time, but yes. it's uh, yes. Very weird. Like even I thought, am I really funny? Am I making people feel better really? And then I had to go and I talked to the Uber driver and I made him laugh and I was like, mm, okay, yeah, I got it. <laughs> you, know? you know what else is beautiful about that is, is it, and as I had said to you, go out, volunteer, do something, make some, you know, make somebody else's day is that you're so happy and willing to do that. And, and you see that it works. It works because, you know, we're other focused and it takes the, the, the madness of the moment away from our own head. And, and it's just the other person focus. If it, I don't know if it'll resonate with you later, maybe, but the idea of, of finding, collecting a few other souls that are feeling this way, um, it might actually be a really good idea. Uh, it, it, who knows? You could craft some kind of comedy troupe out of it. Who the hell knows? I don't know. But it, it, improv is an amazing, wonderful art. And, uh, you, know, you know, it's yes and. And you might get some material out of it. I mean, this is one way to utilize. I don't know who the fuck I am right now. Oh, me neither. Me neither. Really. Let's do I don't know who I am all together now, girls. And just run with it and see what happens. Because in, it, at the very least, you'll have some support around you. Chances are you're going to just come out because that's what you do because you're a star is you're just going to come out of it shiny and going oh my god look at all the material here and then you're gonna i'm getting goosebumps you're gonna be able to, to share that in a, a very funny way because that's who you are and and yeah. process through this and actually have a thread a golden thread of who you are that's going to start weaving through everything that you do I just, I believe it with all my heart that, and the benefit is, is the collaboration that you'll have you, because you're a natural leader, you'll just automatically steer this ship. I know you will, and you're going to be so helpful to other people. So important. So That's vital. Amazing. Thank you. Please do that. Yes. <laughs> all right. I'll then. come on this little rendezvous more often. Yeah. I'm sorry, by the way, this week I've been a bit of an end, I but I, I made it before the end of the week. I'm proud of myself <laughs> again. Oh, well, I'm so proud. <laughs> right. It's all I'm happening. I'm myself a lot. That's today. It's, it hasn't been like this all week. So next Friday, it's the deaf compliment. Woo. Good. Good. It's all <laughs> happening. Put it on the board. Okay. I'm going to go to my list. Yes, okay. please. Okay. So um, this is... Uh, this is kind of fun, I guess. I, it might not be for you, though. <laughs> I just okay, want to go for it. Go for it. Uh, well, um, <laughs> okay, let's do this. I'm going to ask you to use your hands um, okay. on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, I want you to rate yourself on your uh, networking, how confident you feel about networking. Mm, I'll say 9. A 9, okay. Um, how about your uh, knowledge of being a podcast guest? Zero. Okay, that's okay. Do you have an Does interest? Zero exist on the scale. Yeah, of course. we can. We can. That's a half. <laughs> can that's a broken zero. It's a half. <laughs> I love how how expressive you are. Um, uh, I lost my place. Oh, do you want to be a podcast guest? Do you want to be on podcast? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. All, right, all right. Cool. I was, I, yeah, I was at the polling the group just to make sure that if I start yeah, pushing people towards work. this, let, let's do this. Okay. 
um, how knowledgeable or uh, rate yourself rather on uh, clarity. <laughs> I know. No, okay, let's be honest. Clarity, it's not a zero. Clarity on myself or my, yes, right? The point of our group was to help you find clarity of your message and mission, engagement marketing for podcasts and beyond. Well, I'd say, I mean, it's, t hmm. it's tough, isn't it? It is not a zero. It is not a 10. It's somewhere, be no, I'd say six. like today I feel good. So I'll say six. Okay. Because it's not a, like, even if I'm like confused, I know kind of what my message is. You know, I know it's not about saving the whales, you know, I know it's not that, but I know basically what it, you know, the essence of it. Yes. Yes, so there's, there's a good distinction you've just made there. Is that you, you have the 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 core feeling, the core mission, not necessarily yeah. the the how of of what that yeah, is. Yet. Not anymore, but I think yeah, I'd rather say six because six is you know better than five. It's more than average, and it's uh, <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, let's see what else I have for you to bring. Oh, are you familiar with the term evergreen product? Evergreen. 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 Is there a definition to that? Ever, really? An evergreen product is a, say, a strategy call or webinar or free ebook that people. Oh, is it the free thing? The free the thing. lead yeah. magnet, whatever they call it. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's it's a it, you. I guess you could call it a lead magnet. Sure. Yeah. Let's do it's that. It's the free thing you give to people, right? Yeah. 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 Ten. Ten. That's awesome. Okay. Um, <laughs> Good. Uh, at least you're yeah. familiar with it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and landing pages. Your um, landing pages. Landing pages. I mean, I know what they are. I'm registered to a French thing to make them. Took me three days to figure that one out. But yeah, I'm familiar with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Um, ah. How familiar, on a scale of one to ten, are you with marketing? Technically, I should be at to nine, but um, I worked in social media and marketing, but um, not yeah. for myself. So, uh, uh, well, seven, just okay. because I feel like there's a lot of things I need to learn. Okay, all right. How about uh, a scale one to 10 on being interviewed? I've never been interviewed, okay. so I wouldn't know. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Um, do take a look at that one in the group that I've, you'll see, you'll see, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, that one just still bothers me. Um, target market of shows, how familiar, like if we, if we go back to podcasting, mm -hmm. do you know what type of shows you would want to be part of or a guest on? How familiar you are with that? No, you know, before meeting you, I never thought about podcasts. So it's a whole new world opening to me. Yes. <laughs> I and it, I wouldn't do some research. Yeah. So, okay. Zero. Fair enough. And the, um, so, so that's a free, free medium for advertising. So what we're going to do is help you get, you know, get something that you can put out there. Um, so, and, and to start start looking listening to podcasts now and that's that's in the group that's unit three you'll see that um because it takes a while to figure out that bit um and then how when it comes to marketing how how would you rate yourself on your ability to develop a tagline or a headline mm, well in comparison to you definitely zero <laughs> oh <laughs> but uh and i'm not just saying this not really like you're so good you come up with things on the fly um thank you five if by myself seven if i'm helped <laughs> five to seven fair enough i like that okay good in your social media work how confident do you feel on a scale of one to ten mm, well right now i stopped anything because i wanted to work on the message and all but uh not too bad uh okay mm, well, let's go for a seven again because okay. I like to leave room for improvement. Okay. So just out of curiosity with social media, do you not have to come up with some sort of concise little headliner or... Um... Yes, yes, yes. So I may have come up with, with them, but I don't think okay. they're any good. <laughs> oh, no, no, really. Honestly, I think 
I'm not just being hard on myself. It's just that I, I can feel when something has a nice ring to it. Yeah. I don't know. It's just uh, yeah. physical, I guess, or metaphysical. Yes. And, uh, and I guess it never really captured my essence. So, and I guess the more I'm digging, the more I'm discovering parts of myself and the more I get confused about it all and the more I need of a new tagline or at least several new taglines. Like okay. something very punchy okay. and, you know, straight to the point, very me. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, when you are introduced on stage, how, do you have a particular thing that you do or... I mean, I know you're just getting started on, on a stand-up. So um, do you want to have something like that? Like, um, here's, uh, do they do that? Is it, is it necessary? Is it, do you have a no, thing? No, I mean, this, at this point, I don't, I don't know. We haven't, like, right now we've been working on sets, and then next week we're going to work on the, you know, the whole, uh, Oh. And, you know performance part so i don't know if they want us to do something more. okay i got you i got you this is part of the class okay got you i was like i don't know maybe maybe not let's see i wasn't so sure that okay got it they have themes like sex jokes okay fine <laughs> <laughs> i'm okay with that no, because apparently something that, i mean i don't know if i should say this but apparently i give off a very sexual slash sensu sensual vibe so that's why you know they've been putting me on the sex thingy not to it's not just about sex though don't worry i mean not don't worry it's a lot about relationships daddy issues you know my favorite topics of all time well yeah i mean that's perfect that's actually perfect mm -hmm. and yeah i understand about people giving say giving you that feedback um i had that for a long time too and i started wearing men's clothes and hiding because i didn't want to have that kind of attention yeah um, but then i'm quite calm i mean comfortable and you are keep that is, up I guess if it's what it com what comes out, I don't want to hide it. And you know, for a long time, I thought I was invisible. So now, if I'm too visible, well, you know, <laughs> why not? <laughs> no, you should be. Maybe you're a star. You just you, I love that you're comfortable with that. And and yeah. I think that's that's smart on their part to to recognize that that's because really it's it's the art of who you are and it's showing up on stage. And and you you already have a sarcastic and and a parody oriented mind, so that you can. And that's freedom. I mean, really, that's the free spirit that can that can say, "Oh, this is who I am," <laughs> and, and and people can can relate to that. And it, it doesn't have to be too self-effacing, but uh, at the same time, you don't take yourself too seriously. And uh, at least as far as a presentation goes, so that's ideal. You're ideal for what you're doing. I, I think that the, if you, if they make you stick to that, it, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, at all. no. I mean, they were like, this seems to be very. They were saying this in a very nice way not just oh you give off this no it actually encouraged me to develop it and just be more, not more okay but to really not hide behind it or that it was something wrong because yeah it, it was based on the material i was doing you know i was focusing on online online dating my dad you know things like this and uh I, with my french accent sometimes you know i was playing with it so apparently everything went together to make me look uh, awesome awesome <laughs> awesome are you Which, whatever, you know it's uh if that's how i show up well i i want to be authentic so <laughs> why not <laughs> absolutely i love it I, and i Maybe hope my boyfriend you know <laughs> <laughs> all things in time um yeah yeah uh let's see what else i wanted to get in this assessment from with you i think that's actually oh sorry okay um I think that some of these questions at the moment for where you're at aren't relevant. So I'm going yeah. to skip them. Um, so I'm going to finish up with this one, which is really pretty fun. Okay. All right. You're at a dinner party. Yeah. And you're seated because they decided to seat you. You're ideally seated next to which two people in history? Today, yesterday, don't care. Who would you want to be seated next to and why? Uh, of course, why? <laughs> Oh my god, that's a tough one. <laughs> the the first person that came into my mind straight away when you asked this question was Richard Branson. Good one. Because I don't know, I just love him, and I love people who are a bit cr crazy enough to to go after their dreams and not caring about whatever people yes. think, and they yes. just go go go. Yes. So this one definitely, he's a role model. The Good. second one. Mm, that's a tough one. 
I know. Maybe Frank Sinatra, just because I love his music and I think he's very charming and he could sing to me. And now the end is near. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, I love I it. Love it. <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. Yes. Two men, huh? <laughs> no women. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's all good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'd, I'm sure I'd have a great time with them, too. <laughs> yeah, and it would be vice versa, no doubt. <laughs> Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. So those are those are really great choices. I love it. This your creative side, and then then your love of inventions and creativity. Um, uh, as far as um, Richard Branson goes, in business and and having big impact. Okay, those those two are perfect. Perfect choices. It's not like it was the wrong answer anywhere in there. It was just curiosity. Here are the oh, yeah. top search results. Oh, my Google is starting to talk to me. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> I need a new phone. Make friends with Google. <laughs> I'm talking to you, and it starts searching Frank Sinatra. <laughs> yeah, moving right along. Okay, uh, let's see if there's anything else. Um, 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 who's your biggest supporter and fan? And then we're gonna we're, we'll stop. My biggest supporter in my life, mm. my mother. Oh, that's great. Yes, no, definitely she support. Like we haven't always had a good relationship. I mean, it was very full of tension until I turned 18 and moved to England. But, uh, and now she's my best friend. She followed me everywhere I went. I mean, she came to visit me even when I lived in Kenya. She's supportive hundred percent. And she's not tough, but you know, she just doesn't, she, it's not like she just tells me I'm, I'm great and all, like she's very fair. And I know that whatever I'm gonna become, I mean, first of all, it's really thanks to her my dad as well but she's really been the emotional support and i know that if tomorrow i become an artist or whatever not if when she'll be my manager you know <laughs> she'll be here and i know i can trust her 100 percent for okay. my interest and to help me grow and evolve so she's really if i could have her with me every day no that's not true <laughs> oh, <laughs> no she's been she spent two months with me here and it was great, but you know, after a while you're happy. But we can be ourselves with each other and we talk a lot about, you know, spirituality and any, anything. We talk oh, that's so good. That's exactly, so good. we're on the same uh, wavelength, so it's really yeah. good. And I think we are, really have, uh, you know, a soul kind of relationship more than mother, daughter. It's friendly, but with a lot of respect. Sure. It really is the connection, you know, heart to heart connection. Sure. It's not oh well, she's my mother, she knows everything. She asked me a lot for advice and you know it's uh it's very interesting. It's really uh, uh, that's a blessing. Yeah, so. it's a blessing, yep. <laughs> because the opposite really is just one more yeah. thing on a person's plate. So bravo. Our exactly. assessment is done, sweet pea. And uh thank you. Quick. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Uh well, you know, we've skipped over some things like my ideal clients are and why people should oh, Yeah, yeah. Them. Although my ideal client would be someone, you know, not an asshole, of course, but uh, <laughs> some a dreamer, you know, people who I mean, I don't know who exactly, but really people who are like me, you know, dreamers and people not of, you know, wanting to do to get more out of their lives and who feel like maybe they it's not available to them but are willing to work to get it. Yes. Yes, it's about options and then exploring those, and that takes a lot of courage. I really want to encourage you to to get together, with, pull some some uh, like-minded chickies around you, and they may not be as as deep or spiritual as you, but if they're if just look at the age, twenty-seven to thirty-one, and you're gonna find a bunch of little chickies going, "What the fuck? What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, even younger, even older. I mean, I think it's a question that nowadays, especially. <laughs> Well, Every, that's the era of the Saturn returns, 27, 28 to 31. So, just saying. All right, Angel. As much well, as I hate to say, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so, oh, next time we'll do a singing show. <laughs> I love well, how talented you. you are. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, talk to you soon. And bye, everyone who's watching. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. You know, you know, if people haven't given up on, on this, but in mid, mid, anyway, I can't speak anymore. But um, yeah, have a good weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Bye bye. Aww.